Hey what's up gamers, Clarence here with some exciting news. If you're looking to save big on some Nintendo Switch eShop games, you've come to the right place. Today we're going to show you our top 20 bargain games that won't break the bank. And we're even going to give you a mini review of each game, so you know what you're getting into. That's right, we're not just going to show you some flashy game trailers and call it a day. We're going to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of each game, so you can make an informed decision before you hit that buy button. And we're not just talking about indie games here. We've got some big titles on the list too. So sit back, relax, and get ready to save some serious coins. Let's dive into our top 20 bargain Nintendo Switch eShop games with mini reviews and gameplay footage to boot. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss a beat. Let's get started. Welcome to the wonderful world of Grapple Dog. This cute little game is perfect for anyone who loves a good puzzle and wants to spend some quality time with their four-legged friend. First, let's talk about the pros. Grapple Dog is a fun and engaging puzzle game that will keep you on your toes. You play as a lovable pup with a grappling hook, and your mission is to swing, climb, and grapple your way through a series of challenging levels. The game is easy to pick up and play, but the later levels will definitely test your skills. One of the things that I love with Grapple Dog is the graphics. The game has a charming hand-drawn look that really makes it stand out. The colors are bright and vibrant, and the character designs are simply adorable. The music is also top-notch, with a catchy soundtrack that will have you tapping your toes in no time. Now on to the cons. While I love the gameplay and the graphics, there are a few minor issues that may turn some players off. First, the game can be a bit repetitive at times. You'll be doing a lot of swinging and grappling, and there isn't a whole lot of variety in terms of gameplay mechanics. Additionally, some of the later levels can be frustratingly difficult, which may be a turn off for some players. Overall, Grapple Dog is a fantastic puzzle game that is perfect for anyone who loves cute animals and challenging puzzles. While there are a few minor issues with the game, the pros far outweigh the cons, and I would highly recommend giving it a try. So grab your grappling hook and get ready to swing your way to victory. Oh Spyro the Dragon The fiery little dude is back with a remastered trilogy in Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And boy does he look good. Let's start with the positives. First of all, the graphics are gorgeous. I mean Spyro's scales look like they've been buffed and polished to perfection. And the worlds are so vibrant and lively. You'll want to jump into the screen and join in the fun. The controls are also tight and responsive, making it easy to glide, flame, and charge your way through the game. Plus, the soundtrack is catchy and playful. Perfectly complementing the colorful atmosphere. However, there are some few downsides to this game. One of the most notable issues is the camera. At times, it can be frustratingly clunky and difficult to maneuver, especially in tight spaces. And some players find the difficulty level a bit too easy, making the game feel a bit repetitive. Overall, Spyro Reignited Trilogy is a beautiful game with a fun-loving spirit that will make you feel like a kid again. While there are some flaws, it's still a great addition to any gamer's collection. So why not take Spyro for a spin and release leave the nostalgia of the classic platformer. Buckle up folks, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is here to give you a ride to remember. This game is packed with a ton of content. You'll find all your favorite characters from the original Crash Team Racing and even some from other Crash games. The tracks are beautifully remastered and the game mechanics are smooth as butter. You can race solo or with friends online and the replayability is off the charts. However, we did hit some bumps on this ride. The loading times can be a bit too long and we found some of the power-ups to be a bit unbalanced. Also, the difficult can spike pretty high in the later stages of the game, so prepare to practice your racing skills. Overall, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel is a must-have for fans of the original game and newbies alike. It's a wild ride with a few hiccups, but the fun factor definitely overshadows them, so rev your engines and get ready to race. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is a wild ride that's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. The game is an updated collection of the classic Crash Bandicoot games, complete with better graphics and smoother controls. The game has a lot going for it, including a variety of levels that range from easy peasy to teeth grindingly difficult. There are also plenty of secret areas to explore and collectibles to discover. The bosses are a particular highlight, with each one being crazier and more challenging than the last. However, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy isn't without its flaws. 
boss. The difficulty level can be frustratingly high at times, and some of the levels require almost superhuman reflexes to complete. The camera can also be a bit wonky, making it hard to see what's coming up ahead. Despite these minor issues, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is a nostalgia trip worth taking. Whether you're a long-time fan of the series or a newcomer, you'll find plenty to love about this zany platformer. So strap on your sneakers, grab your favorite fruit crate, and get ready to spin your way to victory. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is the game that made me feel like a rockstar skateboarder. This remastered classic brings back everything you love about the original game, but with updated graphics, slick controls, and new challenges. The game's soundtrack is straight up fire with an epic lineup of classic punk and hip hop tracks that made me head banging while grinding rails. The maps are a blast to skate, and the level of detail is impressive. From the graffiti on the walls to the cars driving by, it really feels like you're skating through a bustling city. One downside is that some of the challenges can feel repetitive, but overall the game is a total nostalgia trip that's worth the ride. The only other complaint I have is that it's not always easy to see where you're going, which can be frustrating when you're trying to nail a tricky combo. Overall, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is a must-play for fans of the original game and newcomers alike. It's a fantastic remaster that stays true to the classic while still feeling fresh and exciting. Skating around as Tony Hawk or any other pro skaters never gets old, and I can't wait to keep shredding through the game's challenges. Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is a hellishly addictive game that will consume all of your free time faster than a swarm of angry demons. With a plethora of character classes and gear to choose from, this dungeon crawler offers hours upon hours of demon slaying fun. However, not everything is sunshine and rainbows in the world of Diablo 3. The game suffers from a repetitive gameplay and a frustrating lack of variety and level design. Plus, the story feels like it was written on a napkin during a particularly boozy night out. Overall, Diablo 3 Eternal Collection is a great game for those who love mindless hack and slash action and don't mind a bit of grind. But if you're looking for a more nuanced action, you might want to look elsewhere. Just be prepared to sacrifice your soul to the dark lord of gaming addiction. Alright, let's dive into the wacky world of Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. First off, let's talk positives. The game is a blast to play, with colorful levels and familiar characters. The graphics are top notch with all sorts of eye popping details that will have you doing double takes. Plus, the game has a ton of replay value. There are loads of hidden gems and secrets to uncover which will keep you coming back for more. On the flip side, there are a few negatives to consider. For one thing, the game can be pretty challenging, so be prepared to die a lot. Additionally the camera can be a bit wonky at times, which can make it tough to navigate certain areas. And finally, while the game is definitely fun, it doesn't necessarily break any ground in terms of gameplay or innovation. Overall though, Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is a solid addition to the series and a great game for fans of platformers. So strap on your jetpack and get ready for a wild ride. This classic action RPG has been given a facelift with updated graphics and improved gameplay. First off, let's talk about the positives. The updated graphics are a sight to behold. The improved resolution and detail make the world of Diablo 2 come to life like never before. Plus, the ability to switch between the original graphics and the remastered ones on the fly is a neat feature. The controls have also been refined, making the gameplay smoother and more intuitive. And with all the content from the original game and its expansion included, there's hours upon hours of demon slaying fun to be had. But as with any game, there are a few negatives to consider. The game does suffer from occasional frame rate drops, especially when there's a lot happening on screen. And while the updated graphics are impressive, they can also be a bit jarring for players who are used to the original's pixelated charm. Additionally, some may find the game's difficulty to be a bit too punishing, even on the lower difficulty settings. Overall, Diablo 2 Resurrected is a fantastic update to a beloved classic. The improvements made to the graphics and gameplay are welcome, and the inclusion of all the original content makes this a must play for fans of the series. Despite a few minor flaws, this is a game that will keep you hooked for hours on end. So grab your weapons, gather your party, and let's dive into the world of Diablo 2 once more.
This steampunk dungeon crawler will have you tinkering with gadgets and fending off menacing creatures in no time. The good news is that the game's world building is simply fantastic. The immersive environment and detailed graphics make you feel like you're deep in the bowels of a mysterious mechanical maze. Plus, the soundtrack is top-notch, with atmospheric music that sets the mood perfectly. On the downside, Vaporum can be a bit clunky at times, combat can be slow and repetitive, and some puzzles may have you scratching your head for longer than you'd like. Also, the story can be a bit confusing at first, but stick with it and you'll soon be hooked. All in all, Vaporum is a solid addition to the dungeon crawler genre. It's a unique setting and intriguing plot are definitely worth exploring. But don't expect everything to be perfect. Candle The Power of the Flame is a game that shines like a candle in the dark, but just like a candle, it has its ups and downs. Let's start with the positives. This game has a beautiful art style that looks like it was drawn by hand. It's like playing inside a storybook. The puzzles are challenging but not too hard that you'll be stuck for hours. And the music? It's so calming and relaxing that you'll forget you're even playing a game. But wait, there's more. You get to play as Teku, a cute little character that looks like he came straight out of a Studio Ghibli movie. And the story? It's unique and intriguing, with a blend of mysticism and adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Now onto the negatives, sometimes the controls can be a bit wonky, making it difficult to move Teko around, and there are moments when the game feels slow and draggy, which might bore some players. Plus, the lack of voice acting and text-heavy dialogue might not appeal to those who prefer more action-packed games. Overall, Candle The Power of the Flame is a charming game with some flaws, but if you're looking for a relaxing puzzle game with a beautiful art style and a captivating story, this game might just be the one for you. Aragami Shadow Edition is a game that lets you channel your inner ninja. But like a real ninja, it has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the good stuff. This game has an awesome stealth mechanic that allows you to sneak around and take out enemies without them even knowing you're there. The graphics are beautiful, with a unique art style that feels like you're playing inside an anime. Plus, the combat is smooth and satisfying, especially when you nail a perfect kill. But as with any ninja mission, there are some challenges. The controls can be a bit clunky at times, making it hard to execute some of the more complex maneuvers. And while the game looks great, there are moments when the camera angles can be frustrating, leaving you unsure of where to go or what to do. Overall, Aragami Shadow Edition is a solid stealth game that will have you feeling like a ninja master. It has its flaws, but if you're looking for a game with great combat and beautiful graphics, this one is worth a try. Just be prepared to face some obstacles along the way. Hay Fever is a game that's equal parts cute and frustrating. It has its sweet moments, but it can also leave you feeling a bit sneezy. First, the good news. The game's graphics are adorable, with a colorful and cartoonish art style that's reminiscent of a Saturday morning cartoon. The gameplay is fun and challenging, with unique mechanics that require you to use your sneezing powers to make your way through the levels. And the music is catchy, with a whimsical soundtrack that will have you tapping your feet along with the beat. But unfortunately, there are some downsides to this game. The controls can be a bit difficult to get a hang of, which can lead to some frustrating moments. And the difficulty level can be inconsistent, with some levels feeling too easy while others feel almost impossible to beat. In conclusion, Hay Fever is a game that's full of charm and creativity, but it may leave you feeling a bit under the weather at times. If you're looking for a game with cute graphics and fun gameplay, give it a shot. Just be prepared for some sneezy frustrating moments along the way. The Count Lucanor is a game that's spooky and intriguing, but just like a dark castle, it has its hidden secrets and dark corners. Let's start with the positives. The game has a unique and creepy atmosphere, with an old pixel art style that feels like something out of a horror movie. The puzzles are challenging, but not so hard that you'll be pulling your hair out in frustration. Plus, the story is mysterious and engaging, with twists and turns that will keep you guessing until the end. But like any good mystery, there are some downsides to this game. The controls can be a bit clunky at times, which can make it difficult to navigate through some of the more challenging areas. And while the graphics are cool, they can sometimes be a bit too dark, making it hard to see what's going on. Overall, The Count Lucanor is a spooky game that's definitely worth a playthrough. If you're a fan of horror and mystery games, you'll love the eerie atmosphere and engaging story. Just be prepared for some tricky puzzles and dark corners that might leave you feeling a bit lost at times. Thank you. 
Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus is a game that lets you lead an army of badass robots. But like any war, it has its victories and defeats. First, the good stuff. This game has awesome tactical gameplay that lets you customize and upgrade your robots to suit your playstyle. The graphics are top notch, with a detailed and immersive world that feels like you're really fighting in the grim darkness of the future. And the story is engaging, with a deep lore that will keep you hooked from start to finish. However, there are some negatives to consider. The controls can be a bit clunky at times which can make it hard to execute some of the more complex maneuvers and the difficulty level can be punishing with some battles feeling almost impossible to win without extensive grinding and preparation. Overall Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus is a solid strategy game that's sure to satisfy fans of the genre. If you're looking for a game with deep customization, immersive graphics, and a compelling story, this one is definitely worth a try. Just be prepared for some tough battles and a bit of a learning curve. Dreamscaper is a game that's equal parts dreamy and nightmarish. It's like taking a trip into your subconscious, but with monsters and swords. Let's start with the good stuff. The game's graphics are beautiful, with a dreamlike art style that's both captivating and surreal. The combat is fluid and satisfying, with a variety of weapons and abilities that keep the gameplay fresh and engaging. And the story is deep and emotional, with themes of loss and coping that add an extra layer of meaning to the game. However, there are some downsides to consider. The difficulty level can be a bit high at times, which can lead to some frustrating moments. And while the graphics are stunning, the procedurally generated levels can sometimes feel a bit repetitive. Overall, Dreamscaper is a game that's definitely worth checking out. If you're looking for a game with gorgeous graphics, satisfying combat, and a meaningful story, this one is definitely worth a playthrough. Just be prepared for some tough battles and some repetition along the way. Dark Deity is a game that's full of magic and adventure, but like any journey, it has its highs and lows. Let's start with the good stuff. The game's combat system is awesome, with a strategic and tactical approach that keeps battles engaging and exciting. The graphics are beautiful, with detailed character designs and lush environments that feel like you're really exploring a magical world. And the story is engaging, with well-developed characters and a plot that will keep you hooked from start to finish. However, there are some downsides to consider. The game's difficulty level can be punishing, with some battles feeling almost impossible to win without extensive grinding and preparation. And the dialogue can sometimes feel a bit clunky, with awkward phrasing and stilted conversations. Overall, Dark Deity is a solid RPG that's definitely worth playing. If you're a fan of turn-based combat and immersive storyline, you'll love the engaging gameplay and magical world. Anokart is a game that's all about building a tower and making friends. But like any tower, it has its ups and downs. First, the good stuff. The game's graphics are gorgeous, with a charming and whimsical art style that's sure to put a smile on your face. The gameplay is engaging, with a mix of dungeon crawling, puzzle solving, and town building that keeps things interesting. And the music is delightful, with a soundtrack that perfectly captures the game's cheerful vibe. However, there are some negatives. The controls can be a bit clunky at times, which can make some of of the platforming sections frustrating, and the difficulty level can be a bit uneven, with some parts feeling too easy and others feeling too hard. Overall, Anacord is a fun and charming game that's definitely worth playing. If you're looking for a game with cute graphics, engaging gameplay, and a cheerful soundtrack, this one is sure to please. Coromon is a game that's like Pokemon, but with the fresh coat of paint. It's a monster collecting RPG that hits all the right notes, but with a few bumps along the way. First, the good stuff. The game's graphics are fantastic, with beautiful hand-drawn art that's bursting with color and personality. The gameplay is engaging, with a deep and satisfying battle system that rewards strategy and planning. And the story is intriguing, with a cast of characters that you'll grow to love as you explore the game's world. However, there are still some negatives. The game's pacing can be a bit it's slow at times, with some sections feeling like they drag on for too long, and the writing can be a bit cheesy, with some of the dialogue feeling like it was pulled straight from a Saturday morning cartoon. Overall, Coromon is a great game for fans of monster collecting RPGs. If you're looking for a game with beautiful graphics, engaging gameplay, and a compelling story, this one is definitely worth a try.
Citizen Sleeper is a game that puts you in the shoes of a robot person who just escaped from a soul-sucking mega corporation. The story in Citizen Sleeper is braided with several deep subplots that unveil the station's culture and hierarchy in extended quest lines. You'll be tasked with helping a mercenary repair her ship, conspiring with a sentient vending machine, and much more. The game is also full of choices that will affect your alliances, giving it a ton of replayability. Gameplay revolves around resource management, and your body is breaking down a little more every cycle, pushing you to make tough decisions about what to do next. The art style is exquisite, featuring well-drawn pictures of the characters, and the somber synthwave soundtrack is on point. The only drawback is that the game doesn't play nicely with the controller, but that's just a minor complaint. We highly recommend Citizen Sleeper to fans of role-playing games like Disco Elysium. With high-pressure gameplay, strong writing, and the synthwave soundtrack, you'll have a tough time putting it down. Welcome to Paradise Killer, a game where you get to be a badass detective on an island full of weirdos. First off, this game has styles for days. The neon-drenched visuals and groovy soundtrack create an unforgettable atmosphere. Plus, the characters are all wonderfully bizarre. From the cat-headed judge to the nihilistic witness, it's like a fever dream of Twin Peaks and Phoenix Wright. In the gameplay, it's a refreshing blend of open-world exploration and murder mystery investigation. You'll explore the island, collect clues, and interrogate some Suspects to unravel the truth behind the series of grisly murders. There's even some light platforming and puzzle solving thrown in for good measure. However, Paradise Killer isn't without its flaws. The open world can sometimes feel empty and repetitive, with long stretches of running between locations. And while the story is intriguing, it can also be confusing and convoluted at times. If you're not paying close attention, you might miss some important details. Overall, Paradise Killer is a unique and stylish game that's worth checking out if you're a fan of murder mysteries and offbeat characters. Just be prepared for some long walks and head-scratching moments along the way. And that's a wrap folks, thanks for joining us for our top 20 bargain Nintendo Switch eShop games. We hope you found some great deals and discovered some new games to add to your collection. Thanks again for joining us and happy gaming, peace!